Welcome to Wildlock Burger Worksheet Lesson Number 10. And to start off on this first page, we're doing order of operations. And order of operations basically is six different steps that you have to do in order to solve problems. So we have P, E, M, D, A, S. And so P is parentheses, E is exponents, M is multiplication, D is division. A is addition and S is subtraction. So looking at this first problem, number one, we have 2 times 2 plus 4. And looking at this problem, we see we have 2 and the 4 inside parentheses. Normally, we wouldn't add these first because according to order operations, we have to do multiplication first. But since these two are inside the parentheses, we do them first. So 2 plus 4 equals 6. 2 times 6 equals 12. So our answer for number 1 is 12. Number two, we have two times four plus two plus six, and we can see that two plus six are inside the parentheses, so we're gonna do them first. So we get two plus six gets us eight, and two times four get also gets us eight, and we're just gonna add these two together, and we get sixteen. Over at the side, we have six minus two minus one times two, and we can see that the six minus two minus one are inside the parentheses, meaning that we have to do them first. So. 6 minus 2 is 4, minus 1 is 3, so then we have 3 times 2, and 3 times 2 equals 6. Number 8, we have 5 minus 3 plus 6 plus times 2, and we can see that the inside the parentheses, we have 5 minus 3, so we do that first. 5 minus 3 equals 2, plus 6 times 2, we do 6 times 2 first according to PEMDAS, so we get 12. And now we have 2 plus 12, and that gets us 14. In our last problem, we just did, what's the number 11? Number 11, we have 2 times 9 divided by 1. We don't have any parentheses here, but according to PEMDAS, we do multiplication first. So we do 2 times 9, which gets us 18. Then we divide it by 1, and then that gets us 18. Moving on to the next page, we're going to be finding the sum or the difference. And we're just going to be subtracting and adding dollars. So, I mean, dollars don't really make a difference when you're adding and subtracting, but we can go with number one. We have $2,179 minus $1,493. So, 9 minus 3 gets us 6. 7 minus 9 is impossible, so we have to move over. 1 minus 4 is impossible, too, so we have to borrow one from this 2. This 2 becomes a 1. This 1 becomes a 10. Because remember, we have to borrow it for this 7, too. And then the 7 becomes a 17. Now we subtract. So we have 17 minus 9, which gets us 8. 10 minus 4, which gets us 6. And 1 minus 1, that gets us 0. And so we have $686. Number 2, we're doing the same thing. 7 minus 5 gets us 2. 5 minus 2 gets us 3. 3 minus 9 is impossible, so we have to borrow one from this 8. This 8 becomes a 7, this 3 becomes a 13. 13 minus 9 gets us 4, and 7 minus 4 gets us 3. And so our answer for number 2 is $3,000 and $432. Or 3432 Number 6, this time we're adding. So we have 8 plus 9, which gets us 17. So we put a 7 and carry the 1 over. over we have 5 plus 9 gets us 14. Plus 1 gets us 15, so we put a 5, carry the 1 over. We drop the, zero, drop the, the little period right here. 9 plus 5 also gets us 14. Plus 1 gets us 15 again, so we put a 5, carry the 1 over again. And we have 1 plus 1 plus 4, and that gets us 6. So our answer for number 6 is $65.57. And for our last problem, we have 9 minus 3, we have gets us 6. 0 minus 0 gets 0. Bring down the dot. 5 minus 2 gets us 3, and 6 minus 4 gets us 2. And so our answer for number 7 is $23.06. For this next page, we're finding the missing number using coins. And so our coin distribution, we know that one penny is equal to one cent, a nickel is equal to five, a dime is equal to ten, and a quarter is equal to twenty-five. And a dollar is equal to 100. So looking at number one, we have 25 pennies. And we know that one penny is one cent, so we have 25 cents on this side. Is equal to blank nickels. 
So we know that a nickel is 5 cents. So the final answer, we can just do 25 divided by 5. 25 divided by 5 is 5. So 25 pennies is equal to 5 nickels. For number 2, we have the same thing. This time we have only 10 pennies, which is 10 cents. And we already know that nickels are only 5 cents. So we divide it by 5 again. And this time we get 2. Let me add an S right here. Moving over to this side, we still have 15 pennies and nickels again. So we know 15 cents divided by 5 gets us 3. So 15 pennies is equal to 3 nickels. Over here, we have 2 quarters is equal to blank nickels. And 2 quarters, we know are 25 cents each. So 25 plus 25 equals 50. And we know that nickels are 5 cents, so we can divide it by 5, and we get 10. So 2 quarters are equal to 10 nickels. And for our last example, let me find one that does not have nickels in it. Number 11. Number 11, we have $3, and we know that $1 is equal to 100 cents. So we have 300. And over here, we have blank quarters. And we know that the quarter is 25 cents, so we can divide it by 25. And easy way to think about this, when we have 300 divided by 25, we know that 100 divided by 25 is 4. And so we know that 3 times 100 equals 300. So we can do 4 times 3, and that gets us 12. So $3 is equal to 12 quarters. Moving on to our word problems. Justin has 4 $1 bills, 1 quarter, 4 dimes, five nickels, and five pennies. Using exact change, what is a possible way to pay for a magazine that costs $4.75 while using the least number of coins? So, since we're trying to use the least amount of coins, we're going to try to start off with dollar bills. And we know that he has four $4 bills, which is equal to 400, or basically 400. Zero, zero. So we can cross that out. And right now we have a quarter, four dimes, five nickels, and five pennies left. And so we're going to go to the next biggest one, which is a quarter. So we cross that out. And that's plus 0 0.25. And that gets us $4.25. Next, we're going to go to dimes. We're going to have to cross the dimes out. And four dimes is equal to 40 cents. So we can add 0 0.4. That gets us $4.65. And lastly, we're missing 10 cents, and the fastest way to do that is use two nickels. So we can cross out nickels, which becomes three nickels. And we can add our 0 0.10, and that gets us $4.75. And so, using exact change, a possible way to pay for a magazine that costs $4.75 is using four $1 bills, one quarter, four dimes, and two nickels. Let me write a two actually for here. Two nickels. Ethan has one one dollar bill, three quarters, two dimes, and two nickels. Using exact change, what is the possible way to pay for a goldfish that costs a dollar eighty five using the least number of coins? So similar to number one, we're gonna start off with our dollar bill so we can cross this thing out. And we know that that is equal to one zero zero. And we still need 85, so we're going to move to the quarters, cross these out. 3 quarters, 1 quarter is 25, 3 times 25 equals 75. So we can add 0 0.75, and that gives us 175. And we're only off 10 cents, and we know that 1 dime is equal to 10 cents. So this becomes 1 dime, and then we can just add 0 0.10, and we get $1.85. And so the cheapest way, or a possible way actually, better, better said, is Ethan can use one $1 bill, three quarters, and one dime. 